All right, friends, welcome back to my channel. I am just pulling out of the driveway today. We are shopping. Why? Because I hauled ASS last night and posted 29 items and got everything cross posted this morning as well. So, making a trip over to the bins, I'm going to go to the location near Cincinnati, Ohio. If you don't know what the bins are, it's, it's called the Goodwill Outlet, but us resellers, you know, slang, we call it the bins. They roll out huge bins of clothing, shoes, accessories, and you pay for everything by the pound. This specific bins location, let's manifest a few things. Last time I was there, I found two pairs of Freebird boots that each sold for over $100. There's other times where I go and it's completely hit or mess and I barely find anything even for consignment stores. There's been times I've went to this location, they've been closed unexpectedly and they don't have enough trucks coming in to even flip the bins all day. But I have a backup plan. If that doesn't work at this Goodwill Outlet location, right next door is a super nice and super huge regular Goodwill store. So. It is road trip today, headed to the bins. It'll take me about an hour and a half to get there. So let's hope we can find some really good stuff that I can list online, put in my local spot, or fill up my bag for clothes mentor, Play-Doh's Closet, and Once Upon a Child. Let's get into it. All right, friends. The bins was a bust, so we're going next door. Maybe not a complete bust. I did find three pairs of shoes after a little digging. These will, should do okay. First up, a pair of Adidas Ultra Boost sneakers, size seven. I paid $7.08 for three pairs of shoes. Not too bad, not too bad. Then I got a pair of Nike Flex. Probably sell these at my local spot for like 15 to 20 and then a men's pair of ASIC sneakers same thing I'm gonna put all three of these in my local spot I went over there yesterday and I've been doing quite well with marking stuff up so and things were looking a little bare so I need to fill that in but let's drive next door now to the giant thrift store and see what we can find there instead.
All right, you guys, today was one of those days. Oh my God, I needed that so bad. I had to work. I had to work today to find anything to resell in there. Finally, towards the end, I was able to pick up a couple of really nice pieces and some new to me brands today. Check comps on anything, you guys. Check comps while you're in the store. Don't be afraid. No one's looking at you. Nobody cares what you're doing on your phone. Check comps because I found a pair of leather pants today. Holy cow. They're going to be awesome. I will share with you guys what I picked up when I get home. And side note, um, I kind of went to like that Goodwill on the way here that was really good for shoes. <laughs> so I stopped at two Goodwills in the bins today. I probably spent uh, $110 today. But I think there's a couple items in here, like two of these items that I found at regular thrift today will probably pay for everything. And there were two items at the other store I paid up for. So I am going to get my mushroom Swiss burger from Culver's. And yes, I got a concrete mixer and a very large Coke Zero. <laughs> I should have went prepared. Don't go to Goodwill without eating lunch because I, like, your mind just isn't as quick. I wasn't as fast and I was starting to, like, not feel good. Need to get out of there. So... I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna get home. No taco soup for me, unless maybe later. Okay, I'll see you next time. Okay, and I am back home. Let me turn this other light on. Hang on here, here we go. Let's light up my world. Okay, let's go through everything that I bought today at two Goodwills and the Goodwill outlet. First up, stopped at that Goodwill. Next town over, I found another pair of these Minnetonka men's driving loafers and a darker brown. I paid $5.99 for these. And a Rocky. Then this was a new to me brand, but these are like really, really clean. That is the name of the brand. <laughs> um, size 10, paid $6.99. I saw a sold comp for $40. And then here are the two items that I paid up for. If you know anything about this brand, please comment down below. I tried to do Google Lens. This one appears to still be on the website. It's like a rounded, oh, what do they call it? Something tote. The brand is Dooney and Burke. I paid $14.99 for this one in pebbled leather. And then this one I think could be rare. This is a plaid Dooney and Burke tote with leather straps. And this one was also $14.99. So hopefully some good profit on those. There was several others. I left them there. The comps just, they weren't there. They're, or they were all over the place. It's like, what do you do when you look up comps and... You see one sold for $80 and another one sold for $20. Like, do you risk it? Do you pick it up? What do we do here? All right. Then we had those shoes that we found at the Goodwill Outlet. The Adidas Boost. The Men's Asics Sneakers. And these Nike Flex. Those will all go over into my local spot. Okay. Oh, and a few clothing items. First up, this is a discontinued line. Denim is supplied by Ralph Lauren. A very lightweight, super cute gingham top. Um, tops there are $4.89. This brand does very well. Sorry. Very, very well over on Macari. All right, next up, I found this. I'll see if my husband wants it. This is a scent lock hunting jacket for deer hunting. And I 
think the athletic bar was still only $4.89. Then I got this to resell. This is a men's Orbis, kind of like puffer, lightweight fall jacket. Okay, then I did not know this brand made clothing. Heard of this brand, but never picked it up. And it's an extra large. The brand is Allbirds. Normally I see resellers picking up this brand in shoes, but I found an extra large pair of biker shorts. Um, and the sell through raid looked really good. Probably will sell for like 20 or 25. And then this was one of my favorite pieces. I love selling this brand. This was a brand I learned about on YouTube. Again, why you should subscribe to this channel so you can learn too. Um, the brand is Baltic Born, size medium. This button's up the back, but it is this beautiful blue shimmer maxi dress with a slit up the front. Hopefully I can find a stock photo for that. Um, the last time I went there, I did not go through dresses, so I thought I would look. And this is just really beautiful. I love the sparkle on that. <clears throat> so, with the holidays coming up and whatnot, maybe that'll be good. All right, then, are you guys ready to learn some new brands? Because I took my time and some tried and true brands. Okay, first up, you guys... And this Goodwill, <clears throat> and I do it too, my absolute worst section I hate going through is freaking pants, but today it paid off, okay? I went to the restroom. I started there first. The very first item I found half off was a pair of Jay McLaughlin plaid, um, like, trousers, cropped trousers. So these were $3.00. Rocky. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Finally, towards the end, I started finding uh, pink tags, which were new. And I found this Pendleton sweater. And it is an extra, extra large. It is wool. And look at the print on this bad boy. This is just amazing. I'm sure this will do really well because of the size, the fabric. And the print. I'm pretty picky about what Pendleton I pick up, but I paid $7.99 for this sweater. Rocky. Rocky out. Out. Go. Alright. Then surprising, surprising. Okay. Went to the blazers. And I found this cabbie piece. Just look up the style number because you never know. It's hit or miss. But this was selling for upwards of $40. And the sell through rate was also very great. And this was $5.49. I found an extra large men's spider. This is in really good condition too. Little throw over. And quarter zip. Really nice. $7.99 for this one. So again, when I'm in this regular thrift store and these items are, you know, my local Goodwill is $4.89 for tops. Here it's like $7.99 and like I have to be really picky because I'm cheap and I don't want to pay those prices unless I'm going to get quite a bit of money on my return. All right, next up, a pair of stretch jeans. Oh, they got a little mark on the back. These were $7.99. It is a pair of Spanx distressed jeans, size medium. I picked them up because they were the distressed raw. Raw hem. They do pretty well. I used to be able to sell those faux leather leggings within minutes on Poshmark minutes for like $54 and it's just a brand to note that isn't worth as much as it used to be. All right, this was an interesting find. You guys know I've been playing around with this brand. This is American Eagle, new with the tags, baggy wide leg. These were $7.99. <clears throat> I 
look at these. So, and they're size 14. So I thought, okay, good size, new with tags. And then extra short. Dang it. That might hurt me a little bit. A tall, I've learned, does better than like petite or whatever. All right, the new to me brands. Here we go. I want you to get out your eBay apps. Look these bad boys up and tell me if I did all right. These were priced at $5.99. <clears throat> Actually, these comps, this must be a newer brand. Imogene and Willie. Don't know. Never heard of it. It's a pair of like tweed pants. I actually found more comps for these over on Poshmark. Take a look. Comment down below how much do you think I should list these for. And then wait till you see this next pair. I was shocked. Shocked. At what people pay for clothing. Okay. We need a reseller. Like the full price on some of this stuff is ridiculous. Okay. I paid $5.99 for these pants. They caught my eye because, well, they look to be leather. They kind of look like riding breeches, like equestrian pants. The brand is understated leather, size medium. Comment down below. Check out the comps on Poshmark and eBay and tell me how much you think I should list these for. Let's do a little research project. Okay. So, I have another probably whole day worth of listing stuff. If you didn't know, tomorrow is my birthday, so I'm hoping not to work on my birthday. Uh, and I also remember I forgot to renew my license plate, so nothing like being a mom and waiting until the last minute on everything. But, this will do me some good. These are some higher price items. But yes, comment down below your research project. Look up those two pairs of pants, the last two brands I shared with you, and comment down below what you think they are worth and tomorrow we're doing some shipping so make sure you're subscribed give this video a thumbs up on the way out i'll catch you guys tomorrow see ya